Well, the surf was up. Maybe some moisture as well. Here's Brooke. Oh, that is right. We're definitely going to see that increased moisture. You know, that never gets old seeing those surf competitions with those pups out there and uh, beautiful weather for it today. We're going to see temperatures coming down, though. For tonight, we're still looking at very comfortable conditions around the county with mainly upper 60s and lower 70s. But in the next couple of days, temperatures are gradually going to come down, even in those daytime hours. While this occurs, the wind speeds are going to come up. Right now, we're looking at just breezy conditions all throughout the county from the coast all the way out to the deserts. But those winds are going to kick up, especially in our mountain and desert areas, as we see a storm approaching and that increased moisture. We've had high pressure centered over the Great Basin. That has been digging up some of this moisture from the south. And you can see that still, all of that blue area. That is the moist air mass. We are going to continue to see that pushing into San Diego County. That's going to bring us uh, a chance of thunderstorm activity. Now, the greatest likelihood for that wet weather is in our mountain and desert areas. But it's now looking like we could see that pushing all the way into the Inland Valley areas and even our coastal communities for Monday and Tuesday. Now, it is less likely at the coast and the inland areas, not only for Monday, but also for Tuesday, more likely to remain out here in the mountain and desert areas. But I am still calling for a 20% chance of some thunderstorm activity at the coast and a 20% chance in the inland valley areas for Monday into Tuesday. It is definitely going to be isolated here into the mountains and deserts with more like a, a 30 to 50% chance in those areas. After Tuesday, we clear out. We'll be looking at beautiful sunshine throughout the county. All right, some very severe weather in other parts of the country with very high accumulations in terms of rainfall and damaging winds. All the way through the Midwest, through the next 12 hours, we're going to see some very heavy rainfall continuing through the Midwest area and then pushing to the eastern seaboard. We're seeing a polar air mass that is pushing all the way up to the mid-Atlantic and up into the northeast. This is very unusual for mid-July. There's going to be some colder temperatures there and, again, some damaging winds and very heavy rainfall. Here at home, we're going to see our temperatures coming down only a couple of degrees. Uh, we were at about 78 today at the coast, 76 for tomorrow. Those uh, cooler temperatures are going to continue. We're still above the seasonal average, though, so we're not talking about any cold temperatures by any means. Uh, we're seeing that increased moisture with those partly cloudy skies, that slight chance of thunderstorm activity for tomorrow. And here you have it. Here's the greater likelihood of thunderstorms in our mountain areas. I'll call for a 50% chance tomorrow, a 20% chance on Tuesday. Tuesday, and then we will dry out by Wednesday. Temperatures will flatten out just a little bit. We'll be looking at some more comfortable conditions. We'll send it back over to you, Derek. I'm glad you showed the nationwide picture. So if we do get some rain on Monday, we can all, you know, feel uh, yeah, not nearly as bad as the folks out there. We won't be getting any high accumulation, but they certainly will in the Midwest and the East Coast. We're, we've got it lucky. All right, thank you, sure. Brooke.